Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another acrylic painting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint a unicorn in black and white with just a touch of color on uh, the horn. And I'm going to be working on an 8x10 double primed and stretched canvas today. You can paint this on a larger canvas if you like. I'm using a number 30 filbert brush to start and only black and white. So I've got titanium white and Mars black, but you can use any white and black that you have already or that you want. The first thing I'm going to do is just create some light in the background. Um, that way our, we'll have a nice softness and the unicorn will really stand out. And it's going to be more of a silhouette with just very, very soft tones of gray. So I'm going to get my filbert brush a little bit wet and I'm going to take some white and I'm just going to start going up and down. a little bit more water this will help thin the paint out and it'll give us a really nice soft uh, gray background and then I'll take a little bit more white and I'll just go back and forth this way I'm going to add a little bit of black and I'm going to come up from the bottom and just start gently pulling the black into the white paint that's a little bit wet. That way we're going to get a nice soft edge, maybe a, a little grassy meadow. And then we can also just sort of frame this in and make all the edges nice and soft. And I'm going to add just a little bit more white tinted with a little bit of black. I'm going to soften with a dry mop brush. I'm going to use a number eight filbert brush to start the unicorn with. And I'm going to take a little bit of black, a little bit of water on my brush. And I'll start the head right here. I'll have an ear, so just a little triangle like this. We'll bring the head up, up, and then slope down. And then we'll have a little line like this. And then another one for the end of the horse. Take some more black. Start painting in the leg area. It's just going to blend in with all the grass down here. We can pull a few more little blades of grass. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go down like this, scoop, add another leg, it's gonna come out, and then go back in, down this way. A little space, and this time we're gonna pull straight down for the leg. Comes in a little bit narrower right here, and then a little bit wider, and then narrower again. Okay, I'm gonna start painting this in, and it's gonna get lighter and lighter towards the top. So we'll bring in a little bit of white here, I'm going to bring down the belly a little bit lower at a line that comes up like that. Now from where this leg is, kind of in between these two, there's going to be a shadow. We just want it to gradually fade to black down here and be lighter at the top. So I'm gonna take a little bit more white now. And this is all just gonna be hair. But then we've got very light gray here. And then just lightly go across this way. And then a little bit there on the end. Okay, I'm going to go outline the ear with some white. I'll just get it on the very tip of my brush like this. Okay, back over to my black with a clean brush. I'm gonna go over this area here because this leg is in the front. I'm gonna add some more black right there. And we'll continue along. We've got three legs. We need to go just up slightly right here and right about here. We're going to have another leg. So diagonal and then down. It's a little bit wider right there. And then pull it down this way. Again, we've got some grass covering up the bottom legs. So you can just kind of rough in little lines that go this way and that way. Okay, I'm going to take just a little bit of white to make a really dark charcoal gray. 
add a little round curve line right there and then round in paint it in I want the hair to really show up, so I'm going to go dark underneath. Take up a little, just a little bit of width there. Make this a little narrower. Add a little bit of light. Come inside the ear with light gray. Take a little bit of black, make a dark gray again. Come out on either side. The neck will join up with the chest. And then from this ear, right below it, we're going to go out, pop out for the other eye. Eye will be here, and then we're going to go in. Curve, bring it back in, out on either side, slant. And then down. Shade this side in. This side of the face. And then come in with black so that we can build up some nice contrast and highlights for the hair. We'll have some hair on that side as well. Okay, I'm going to take some white without washing my brush off, so it's still just going to be a gray color. I'm going to add the other ear right here. So it's pointy, the top of the head, straight down, and then rounds out. I'll take a little bit more white. Add a little white patch just here over the eye. over the top of the nose or nostril and I'll take a little bit more white bring that down the other side of the nostril or the other nostril
a little bit more black. I'm going to shade in here with some black and add a little bit of white to start to gradually make it lighter and lighter. Add some black inside the ear. Just a little bit inside this one. I'm going to paint a few slanted lines like that for the nose and mouth area. Soften that black a little bit. I want it to be really black in the nostril. If we just shade in the eye, it makes it a lot easier without really trying to paint an eye. A little bit more white. Add a little bit more white here on the back. And then I'm going to take some gray. And I'm going to come right in here and add the tail. Sweep, pull, and flick. Add a little bit extra white so it shows up a little bit better. And then a little bit on this side. Pull up a little bit of black right in here. And some more black right down here. Soften.
filling in some more black before we start adding the hair. We're going to have the horn right in here, so we'll go and then let off. I'm going to go to a mini liner brush, a little bit of black, a line there and a line there, and paint a circle inside. I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to go above add a highlight on the eye a little bit below around the nostrils, right here, go just a slight arch right there, and the highlight, add some light here to the ears, just outlining them. Add a little bit of gray. Around the eye, leaving it, just doing a circle inside, leaving the black center, the pupil, and then a few little dabs of white. And come in with just a little bit more black. So I've got a small fan brush that I'm going to use to show you guys how to paint the hair. What you want to do is get it wet, go into a little bit of gray. You want it to spread apart like this. That will create the multiple strands of hair all at once. And I'm going to come from the top, sweep and curve now the more of a curve you add, you can determine if you want it to be really curly. or if you want it to be a little bit straighter. I'm going to come around here and twist and come around the ear. I'm going to bring some around the side here. I'll go into more white. Add brighter highlights on the top.
and you can also add some low lights. So coming in with a little bit of gray. See in this area where I don't want to see the back, I don't want to see through the hair. I want it to be denser hair there. So I can come in and add some darker strands and then go back in with some white. But it's really going to help to have some water in your brush. Definitely need the water. It'll give your brush strokes the hair more of a silky, soft look. I think we can start working on adding the details for the horn. I'm going to use a liner brush or a really small round brush. I'm going to come in with some light gray. We've got that dark black base to go by and build up highlights and details with. So I'm going to start at the point, twist and turn, leave a space twist and turn. Just make them bigger and bigger. Then I'm going to pick up more white. Do the same thing. I'm going to catch the edge. Making it brighter. I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to go right under with a little bit of a shadow and soften. Now it's a little bit too dark right there so I'm going to come in with a little bit of white place it down here and then gradually work my way up to that darkest contrast and shadow. Put a few strands of hair on that side. And add a little bit of black in between. And a little bit more gray right in here. Back over to my filbert brush. I'm going to take a little bit more 
white. My brush is pretty dry. I'm going to add some more highlights. And with some white paint on the tip of my brush, I'm going to place my pinky here. And just add another bright layer. Okay, I'm going to add a few little dabs for some sparkles. So I'm going to take some more black. I'm going to darken the eye up just a little bit. And I'm going to add some sparkles using a toothbrush. You want to just make sure you get it wet first, put it in some water, gently scrub it around to load it in some white paint. And then you just want to hold it, place it where you want the sparkles. I'm going to come in with my little liner brush. And just very lightly 
Look, a little star on the tip of the horn. I'm going to use fluorescent yellow by the Quitex Basic or Basics. And I've got just a little bit of luminous neon pink that I'll be using as well by Holbein. So I'm going to take some white to make a light pastel shade. And I'll add it right there by the star. is just the smallest amount then I'll take a little bit of pink and I'll go over part of the yellow Okay, this painting is all done. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this and you want to paint along. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and join Patreon where you can unlock lots of other tutorials and much, much more. Take care and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!